Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to another beautiful class of chemistry and this is a part of the chapter Acid, Base and Balance. This is Fahad and in this video I shall try my level best to explain the primary level of conception of pH. So you know that pH is the negative logarithm of H plus ion in a solution. So primarily what is the definition of pH? So we can say that pH is used as a unit okay so this is a unit uh, so we can say that this is a unit to determine what to determine the nature of an aqueous solution so if an aqueous solutions it can be alkaline it can be neutral it can be acidic whatever the solution is so simply we can say that pH is uh, used as a unit to determine the nature of an aqueous solution either it is acidity when neutrality and alkalinity so primarily we know that pH is the negative logarithm of H plus so is there any range of pH yes it's about 0 to 14 and the neutral level of pH is 7 how it is actually 7 because the neutral level is 7 so when you go from 7 to 14 you'll find base and you go from 7 to the, the lesser one and to till 0 then you'll find acid so the question is why this 7 is a neutral value you must remember one thing that in distilled water in distilled in distilled water uh, uh, in one liter distilled water, the mole of H plus, if it is in one liter, in one liter distilled water, the mole of H plus is actually 10 to the power minus 7 mole. So, if we just try, if we try to determine the, the nature of uh, aqueous solutions in one liter distilled water, then we'll have that this mole this mole this 10 to the power minus 7 mole h plus ion ion per liter so we can say that the value of ph that is power of hydrogen is minus log of h plus h plus so in third bracket we just express with this h plus so we can say that is minus log 10 to the power minus 7 so when we use this 10 to the power minus 7 minus log minus 7 then it will actually come like 7. So this 7 is the neutral value of pH. So when you get a pH value 7 so we can say this is neutral. So if we use if we add some acid in this distilled water then the concentration level of H plus will increase. Suppose if it increased 10 times so if we increase 10 times, so previously it was actually 10 to the power minus 7. So if you increase 10 times, then it will be 10 to the power minus 6. So if it is 10 to the power minus 6, then it will be like minus log 10 to the power minus 6 and the value will be 6. So it means it's actually lesser. So if you increase the acid in the aqueous solution, then the density or the concentration of H plus will be increased. If H plus increased, then the value of pH will be lesser. So it will come round zero. So if the pH value is five, this is more acidic. If it is the if it is one, the pH value is one, that is strong acid. So the, the concentration of H plus is so high that is why the pH value is nearly zero. So understand the basic concept of it because the value of 7 it is neutral because 1 liter distilled water contain 10 to the power minus 7 mole H plus ions inside the solutions and when we use it into the calculations we get 7. Think about it if 10 times if you use again 100 times concentration then this value would be 10 to the power minus 5 and here it would be 
5 because you are using here 5. So you, if you use more H plus, I mean if you add more acid, then the value of pH would be lessened down towards the zero. And if you add more hydroxyl, suppose in these solutions, in these one liter distilled water solutions, there was like 10 to the power minus 7 mole, 10 to the power minus 7 mole H plus. But when you add more alkaline here or base here, then suppose it's become 10 to the power minus 10. 10 to the power minus 10, that means the level of concentration of hydrogen drops in thousand times. Then it would be minus log H plus, which is minus uh, log 10 to the power minus 10, and this is 10. So when the pH value is 10, then we can say this is nearly 14, which is base. So when it exceeds from 7 to 12, 7 to 14, we'll say the aqueous solution is basic. When it is 0 to 7, we say that aqueous solution is acidic. So I hope this is understandable primary level. So I'm raising it and you see in the right side there are some things given. Think about it. Suppose 0.1 molar HCl. The question is what is the pH value of these? What is the pH value? 0.1 molar HCl. Think about it. When HCl in aqueous form is dissolved, then it dissociates H plus and chlorine minus. If it is 0.1 molar, then this H plus is also 0.1 molar. So we can say that this H plus is actually 0 0.1 molar ion per liter so this 0.1 molar is the concentration of H plus if the concentration of HCl is 0.1 liter and this is the molarity so in 0.1 mole HCl there is H plus that will present 0.1 molar so if we find the value of pH then minus log H plus so it would be 0.1 you see in case of 0.1 this is actually log 10 to the power minus 1 so you know minus log 10 this is 0 so this is 1 so 1 is definitely strong acid so 0.1 molar ion if it is present in HCl solutions then the pH is 1 if you think about 0.2 molar in case of 0.2 molar, if it is 0.2 molar, then in case of HCl, you see that this is 0.2 molar, so H plus would be 0.2 molar also. So the concentration of H plus is 0.2 molar ion is present per liter solution. So the pH is minus log 0.2. So, if we need to use this uh, 0.2, so you can say that minus log 0.2, this is, you see, the minus log 0.2 is 0.698 something. So, 0.699 would be the pH value. So, 0.699. You see, this is again less than 1. So it's becoming more strong. It was previously 0.1 molar. When it was 0.1 molar, we got pH value 1. So when it's 0.2 molar, I mean twice, double of the concentration, then it's become less than 1. So it's become more acidic. Think about 0.01 molar. Now in this solution, 0.01 molar. Think about it. If it is 0.01 molar, then HCl. Huh? 0 0.01 molar it will become 0 0.01 molar okay fine now the H plus concentration would be 0 0.01 molar ion per liter solution so the value of pH is minus log 0 0.01 and this is what this is 10 to the power minus 2 right 
So this is 10 to the power minus 2. You can say that 10 to the power minus 2. So what would be the pH of this solution? This is 2. So you see that previously it was less 0 0.01 molar. So the pH value increased 2. So it means that when pH value is 1, it is more stronger acid. But when it is 2, so the pH value is increasing. That means the intensity of acid or the acidity is lessened. So when the molarity would be lessened, the pH value would be higher. The last one. 0 0.005 molar H2SO4. Okay? So if we use 0 0.005 molar H2SO4, what would be the equations? Think about it. In solution of H2SO4, 2H plus and sulfate would be produced. Now you think. 1 mole H2SO4, when it will dissolve in water, 2 mole H plus will be produced. So, if it is 0 0.005 mole, H plus would be 2 times 0 0.005 mole and this is 0 0.01 molar. Okay? Because this is 2 mole. If the H plus concentration is 0 0.01 mole ion per liter, then the value of pH is minus log 10 to the power minus 2. 0 0.01, I mean we can actually directly use it 0 0.01. So if you use 0 0.01 with your calculator, 0 0.01. So this is simply minus log 10 to the power minus 2, this is 2. So the pH value of 0 0.005 molar sulfuric acid is 2. So I hope you understood a little bit about the pH value. I did it very simple. You just remember the pH is the minus logarithm of H plus. This is power of hydrogen. You must remember that P is used I mean, in small letter and H is capitalized. And the range of pH is from 0 to 14. So you, if you go from 7 to 0, you'll get more stronger acid. If you go from 7 to 14, you'll have more stronger base. So in some cases, I've shown you the process to find the pH value and I hope you can do it. This is very simple class and you can do it by your own. And in HSC level chemistry, there are a lot of things that is discussed regarding this topic. So I hope I make you clarify about pH value and the calculation of it. If you find something good, please let me know that you really uh, get benefited from my tutorials and I should be much more appreciate to have your feedback in my work so put it down in the comment sections that what is your feelings about me and what you need more and please join in my facebook page also is given in the description box thank you so very much see you on the next video bye